The EV3 color sensor is a great addition to the LEGO Mindstorms kit. It allows detection of different types of color, and here we'll show in LabVIEW how to use it in order to play different sounds. I'm actually going to start out by waiting for a touch sensor to be pushed. I have a touch sensor on port 1 of my EV3 robot. Once that's pushed, I will then read the EV3 color sensor, and I'm going to put it into detect mode because we're going to be detecting the color. That sensor is attached to port 3, so I'm going to be sure to specify that it's on port 3. Out of the read color sensor comes the detected color. I'm going to take this and actually pass it into a structure, specifically a case structure. This then allows me to perform different actions based on what color is read. When I wire it in by default, it shows me the no color case as well as the black case. So when no color is detected, I'm going to actually display some text to the screen. So I'll use the display. And I'm going to write text and center it on the screen and going to put it on line 6. That puts it right into the middle of my EV3 screen. The text that I'm going to write, I'm going to create a constant and just write no color because this is the no color case. In addition to displaying no color, I'm also going to play a note. And the note I'm going to play is the very first note, the lowest note of the scale. So this is when no color happens. I'm going to actually copy this code. And I'm going to switch over to the black case and paste that code in. Because basically, for the black case, I want to do the same exact thing, except that I want to display a different text in the screen, and I'll play the next note in line. So here we have our two cases. When there's no color, it will play a C, and when there is black, it will display the word black and play the note D. I could then continue on by adding additional cases, but I'm actually going to use a shortcut here called duplicate case. This actually takes the code of this current case and adds it into the next case. So by clicking that, we see that it's created a third case, the blue case, and has duplicated the black code there, which means I need to do two things. One is update the text and change the note. I will then duplicate again and go through for each different color that the EV3 can detect, changing the text And changing the note. So now that I've finished, I have my case structure where each case displays a different color name and plays a different note. I want this whole program to repeat so I will add a while loop around the entire code and create a constant on that to make it loop forever. Now that I've written my code, let's download it and try it. So now we have our program downloaded onto the brick. We have a touch sensor on port 1 and a color sensor on port 3, as well as I've created a little strip of colors from the beams that are in the kit. It should be noted that with the color sensor, if a color is pressed right up against it, it actually won't read it. The color needs to be a slight distance away. To help with this, I'm actually going to add this little spacer onto the touch sensor just to ensure that when the touch sensor is pressed, the colors are the appropriate distance. So with that said, I will start running the program. And the first case to test is the one with no color. So I will just press in the touch sensor. And indeed, it plays the note C and displays no color on the screen. Then I will use the color stick to uh, test out the other colors, starting with black, then blue, green, yellow, red, 
and finally white. And now I'll go back down. And then finally ending with no color, 